Roy, were there any thoughts of doing someone else like a Bruno San Martino or a Hulk Hogan, or you really wanted to focus on Ric Flair? Well, what happened was Rick appeared in a film that I directed called I Hate Christian Leitner. He only appeared in one interview by talking about what makes a good villain. And just that fight kind of trended on social media, and he had noticed that. And Rick had such a complex story, so when ESPN dug a little deeper, they're like, wow, you know, this is a really interesting dude. And they came to me and, you know, said, is this someone you'd be interested in? Because I talked to them about doing stuff on wrestling for a long, long time. And for the longest time, they seemed only interested in Andre the Giant. And I like Andre the Giant, but I feel he's pretty one-dimensional. Um, and not as, doesn't have the layers of complexity that Rick does. So uh, I pushed for the film with Rick. He's, he's the subject I the one to do all along, and he's considered by many to be the greatest of all time. And I wanted to explore what does that mean, because there's not metrics to measure, like touchdown scored or championship. So what makes a wrestler, a wrestler great the, if the competition or it's not competition, you had an interesting setting. You used the ring to interview him in. What was your thought process there in doing the interview in the ring? Well, I mean, it wasn't, I wouldn't call it a stroke of genius or anything. It was fun. the most basic part of the interview. We did, a, we did two interviews with Rick. It was the first interview done for the film and the last interview done for the film. And the first one was done in uh, an arena. And we, we built, we had the ring built there with intentional and then the last that we did at a, at a bar you know kind of two favorite settings the wrestling ring and a bar that, that was my thought process yeah that was two favorite settings for Ric Flair <laughs> what did you think Rory of the people that you had to speak to in this project you spoke to many wrestlers you spoke to Snoop Dogg you spoke, spoke to personalities outside of wrestling as you mentioned earlier what was your thought process there, and were there others that you wanted to speak to that you just didn't, couldn't get or had the time to do? Well, we interviewed uh, 40 some people for the film, and a lot of them were incredibly interesting. And people I watched growing up, so that was a big thrill for me. It was awesome getting to interview The Undertaker, and he's someone that doesn't do very many interviews out of character. I remember Rick shared his contact with me over the phone and to share the Undertaker. So I was uh, intimidated to call him. I didn't know what the, uh, you know, how to address him. So did I call him Mr. Taker or what? Um, but he, he was awesome and we interviewed him in his home and he could have been more friendly. And it was just a great thrill. Uh, I would have loved to have gotten The Rock or Stone Cold because they're probably two of the biggest names in wrestling. But we weren't able to get those two guys with their schedule. And, and also, you know, Hulk Hogan, that was an incredible thrill. And he was not an easy guy to get. You know, this was during his whole lawsuit that was going on. He wasn't doing any press. And, uh, but he did it. And I think he's one of the stronger interviews in the film. Rory, might we see something, a project on Hulk Hogan, depending on how this project ends up rating-wise and going with Nature Boy with Ric Flair. And a couple of people mentioned that to me. I'd love to do something on Hulk Hogan. I mean, to me, that is the name that is probably the most synonymous with wrestling. I mean, if you went up to anyone on the street that you know Hulk Hogan, people would say yes. I think his Q rating is still through the roof. And I think he's a fascinating guy and has lived a very full life. So, oh, man, let's connect. Let's do it. I'm ready. Now, Roy, in the piece, I noticed you used an old interview from the Sally Jesse Raphael show. Uh -huh. What was your thought process there in using that interview in particular? Because he's done so many interviews over the years. And this was obviously when he was younger, during his wrestling days. Yeah, it was kind of the height of him in, in wrestling. And he, he wasn't, like, over the top. You know, he, he's very thoughtful. And to me, Sally Jesse Raphael kind of represents the 19th you know, she was such a 1980s figure, and he was the 80s, and I thought it was a very, she asked very good questions, there was a lot of introspection there, <clears throat> you know, asking about his family and growing up, and, and then there were some really cool moments, you know, and you see in the film, when one of the audience members says, is it wrestling, scripted, uh, fake moves, and Rick goes, no, it's not, and gets kind of offended at it, and it shows you 
wrestling either 